Hi, I'm Tim, the Woodworking Maniac. Today, I'm actually going to utilize the space on top of my planer for something other than a catch-all, like it usually is. I have a tendency to end up stacking lumber on top of here of just random projects or random cutoffs, just constantly, non-stop, just stacking more and more lumber on top of this thing. And a few weeks ago, Matt Cremona had a video on here, which he has the same planer that I do. Mine's a little older than his, but it's the same model regardless. And when he got his planer, the person before him had actually made a flat board that kind of settled in here between the rollers to give him a flat surface area. Now, I don't want that because I already use it kind of like that, and it's a catch-all. I don't want that. So what I've done is I've actually taken my sand flea, and I've actually built a little stand for the sand flea and it's got kind of a hook front and a catch on the back to where it actually hooks the roller in the front and then goes over the roller in the back. This way it can't come back at me, it can't go forward and it can't actually get pulled up and it can't move side to side because it actually fits in between the rollers. So it's stuck into place and it's, it's locked in. If you want to see how I ended up making this, follow along.
so we've got the sander on top of the planer and it fits up here perfectly it doesn't obstruct anything on the planer doesn't obstruct anything on the sander and even though it's a little bit higher than what it would normally be on a workbench it, it's still completely manageable at this height now i was originally planning on building a mobile cart just dedicated just for this sander now of course that cart would also have some extra storage in there but that would be some valuable real estate in my shop that would be used just for this sander by taking that and putting it up here i'm saving a lot of valuable real estate and also by putting it up here i'm keeping myself from using this planer as a catch-all for extra lumber now as long as i can keep that lumber off of up here i think we'll be safe now i use this thing quite a bit so i think we'll be all right there so i hope you all enjoyed watching this video this is part of the beginning of some of my improvements that i've got going in my shop there's a lot to be done in this shop, so I hope you all will follow along. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely hit that subscribe button and see what I've got going on. If you haven't seen some of my previous videos, check back and see what I've got in there as well. I hope you all have a great day. God bless. Alright, so we've got the sander on top of the planer, and it fits up here perfectly. It doesn't obstruct anything on the planer or the sander, and completely lost track of what I was saying.